Welcome friends, in this one I'm going to show you how to find the following limit. The limit as x approaches positive infinity of 2x plus 5 over 3x plus 2. So the first way to do it is to recognize that you have matching powers of x. This is x to the first and x to the first. In that case, the limit is simple. It's simply equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, whatever they are. So in this case, it's 2 over 3, and that is the value of the limit. This is how some people accept this as an answer. Some people don't because it lacks detail. So let me show you a slightly more detailed approach that sometimes you're expected to know. I'll write it over here. So it looks like this. You have the limit as x approaches positive infinity of that same thing. So 2x plus 5 divided here by 3x plus 2. And then relative to the 2x when x is a large number. Imagine x is a million. Then 2 times a million is 2 million. Adding 5 is irrelevant. When x is a large number, for example a million, then 3 times a million is 3 million. Adding 2 to it doesn't change it for the purposes of doing the limits. So what you can say in that case is, you can just say it's the limit as x approaches positive infinity, this way, of just 2x over, let's see, 3x, like this. And in this case, notice I've dropped the 5, because relative to 2x when x is large, 5 is irrelevant. Relative to 3x when x is large, 2 is irrelevant. And now we just have 2x over 3x. Notice that this is x, this is x. So now cancel this one with this one. And all you have left at the end is the limit as x approaches positive infinity of 2 thirds. The limit of a constant, which is what remains, is equal to the constant. In other words, you just have 2 thirds. That's it. Some people take this. Other people expect you to be able to apply the limit rules a bit more formally. So let me just show you that process. The limit as x approaches positive infinity of 2x plus 5. And I'm going to divide this by 3x plus 2. So what we want to do is get rid of the x, uh, for example, from here and here. One way to do it is to factor an x out. So you'd have the limit as x approaches positive infinity, and just pull the x out. So you're going to have an x factored. When x goes from here, there's a 2 left over, but then you got to write the 5 over x this way, like that. Why do you have to do that? Because if you redistribute the x back over, it's going to be x times 2, which is 2x. x distributed to 5x would make this x cancel with this x, giving back only the 5 that we have originally, you see? All right, and then here in the bottom, same logic, you're going to have pull an x out, so you have the x out, and then you have left over here, let's see, uh, 3 plus 2 over x. Again, same reasoning, 3 times x is 3x, if you distribute the 3 back to the, or the x rather, to the 2x, 2 over x, this x cancels with this x in the bottom, leaving only the 2 in the numerator, and that's it, you see? And now what you can do is you can cancel off these x's essentially, so basically do something like cancel this with this, and all that remains is the limit uh, as x approaches positive infinity of 2 plus 5 over x divided by the limit, let's see, 3 plus 2 over x. So this is the formal way. Now what you can do is you can distribute the limit operation or operator to each part of that fraction. So you're going to have uh, the limit as x approaches positive infinity of, let's see, the first is just going to be the 2 plus the limit as x approaches positive infinity of the 5 over the x. And in the bottom, you're going to have, let's see, the limit as x approaches positive infinity of, let's see, what do I have there, 3, plus the limit as x approaches positive infinity of 2 over x, this way. And now you can apply each limit operation individually. So the limit as x approaches positive infinity of 2 is 2. It's a constant. It's 2. This limit, when x goes to infinity, 5 over x goes to 0, right? Because it's like 5 over a million or 5 over 10 million, 5 over a trillion. It basically becomes 0 in the limit, okay? The limit as x approaches positive infinity of 3 is a constant, never changes. It's 3. And this limit as x goes to positive infinity of 2 over x is again equal to 0 for the same reason as this one. So you have 0 here. And lastly, notice at the very end, you once again end up with... Two thirds. So regardless of the level of detail you're expected to show, depending on who's teaching what you're expected to do, right? It's two thirds. Let's see. It's 
two-thirds by memorization or is two-thirds by more formal limit manipulations. You get the same value in each case. And that is it. So I hope it's been helpful. Please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video.